What's up guys, it's your boy, the man, the myth, the legend, Pick Droppers, back at it again with the CFM Week 5 video. Now in this video, I am the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the CPU is the New York Jets. This is Week 5, and I went to the game this week, and it was definitely a great game. You guys see there, Jets just one-handed mossed me, but the game was super fun. Really liking what I'm seeing from the Steelers, especially their defense. Steelers defense played really good, and the Steelers offense looked pretty good. Um, there were some times where I disagreed with some of their calls. Uh, the first quarter, I think the Steelers only had a couple of real passing plays. Most of them were just running plays or screens. Um, I definitely like that 73-yard bomb to Sammy Coates, and I'm definitely looking forward to see what he can be doing with the Steelers offense. Definitely a great player. And you guys see there, I throw a horrible pick six. But to go along with the Steelers game, definitely loving what I'm seeing. Their offense played really good. Um, Antonio Brown had a great, great game. Le'Veon Bell had an amazing game receiving-wise and running-wise, uh, receiving better than running. He had nine receptions for 88 yards, which is like running back type or wide receiver type numbers. And he played really good. Um, Jesse James had a great game at tight end. Definitely am loving that. And all around, the Steelers are just looking really good. And then along with that, the Ravens and the Bengals both lost. So the Steelers take a one-game lead in the division. The Steelers are looking really good. Definitely think they should be up two games because I do think they shouldn't have lost to Philadelphia. But obviously, they got wrecked by Philadelphia. And I'll be talking about Philadelphia losing to Detroit later on this week. But I am definitely happy with how the Steelers performed. Um, and their defense played really good. I mean, they shut down uh, the Jets' offense without forcing any turnovers, which is pretty impressive. While I did want them to force some turnovers, the Jets only scored 13 points on the Steelers' defense. They forced Matt Forday to get 53 yards rushing. And besides Brandon Marshall, the Jets only had 141 yards passing. Brandon Marshall did get 114 yards receiving, so, I mean, he had a huge game. But Steelers definitely um, killed the um, the Jets' number two and number three wide receivers. And their number three wide receiver was actually a running back. So I'm definitely happy with that. Uh, the Steelers definitely had some sacks, which always helps. That was huge this game, their ability to sack and their ability to, to stop the Jets on third and fourth down, forcing the Jets to ten for two for 11 on third downs and then on fourth downs 0 for 1. That's definitely really good for the Steelers. And my favorite stat for the Steelers was they, gave, they had one penalty for 10 yards. That shows lots of dis discipline, and I'm definitely happy with that. And Antonio Brown didn't do any stupid touchdown dance after he scored his touchdown, which is definitely good because he has been doing a lot of stupid touchdown dances after he scores, which definitely hurts the Steelers. And the Steel Big Ben had an amazing game this week, passing for 380 yards and four touchdowns. His last two games, I'm pretty sure he has like nine touchdown passes for 680 yards. That's crazy numbers, and I'm definitely looking forward to next week's game. Next week's game, they are playing Miami, and I do expect them to win that game um, just because the Steelers are just so good. And you guys are seeing here, I put up zero points in the first half against the Jets, and then finally I score a touchdown, and it, I make it 13-7. to and I'm working, really looking forward to winning the game, and I'm having trouble stopping the Jets' offense, but... I do think I am set up in the position to win the game, and I'm kind of sending blitz. I'm kind of sending blitzes, but I'm also just running zone coverage, generic zone coverage. You guys see there, I missed the tackle, and then right there, I made the tackle, which was good. And then they get, they've gotten so many amazing catches, which really annoyed me, and my pass rush was never able to get to the quarterback, and so I actually made a huge trade for the upcoming week. I sent over Greg Olson, uh, Brandon Marshall, and my number one cornerback, Adam Jones, to get J.J. Watt. Definitely a huge trade. I invested a lot, and I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, definitely huge assets were given up, 
and I'm hoping we're able to win next week, and I'm hoping J.J. Watt can do something for me. And Aaron Rodgers actually comes back, which is definitely going to be a huge help because Dak Prescott threw like four interceptions in this game. He played horrible, and I'm definitely going to need my number one overall pick to come up and shine and get me the win next week because I definitely do not want to go to 4-2. and two. I want to go to 5-1 and one on the year uh, against Miami, and that's definitely going to be a huge game in the division. Right there, they caught a holding call, and right now they're about to score – uh, a touchdown, and then after that, the game was pretty much over. I mean, there's two minutes left. They end up are not scoring a touchdown. They kick a field goal, and they make it. Then I throw an interception, and so I lose the game, and I'm 4-1. and one. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And comment down below on what you would like to see next. It's your boy, Pick Droppers, and I'm out. Peace.